All right, hey guys, it's Terrence here, and I wanted to explain to you two things. One, how I changed the interval modifier in Anki in order to better suit my two-week um, exam intervals, and then also um, how to search and find uh, lapsed cards using the browser. So first, here's Anki. And so I have exams every two weeks, and the problem was that I have tons of cards to study, uh, tons of lectures, and information started building up really quickly and I was having to review the cards more often than I thought I needed to. So in order to change this and make it better so I had to see the cards less often, I went ahead and uh, went to, uh, clicked on a deck, and, or clicked on the options here. I went to reviews and made sure my options group was selected. And I changed the interval modifier to 155% and the easy bonus to 190%. So basically what ended up happening was I was getting the the new cards all remain the same. I was getting the uh, one minute, ten minute, one day interval. And then after that I was able to separate the cards I knew from the cards I didn't know at a much faster rate. Um, so if I got it wrong, I'll, I would see it the next day because the lapses it shows it goes the new interval is zero percent and uh, one day. I didn't change this. This is how it's standard. How it comes standard. Um, but I figured I was learning stuff. And remembering it better and I wanted a way to get the stuff I didn't know separated from the stuff I did know uh, quicker and that's how I did it change the interval modifier to 155 I'm gonna modify this again or I'm gonna change it again uh, for the next exam it's worked pretty well for this exam I will say that there were certain things that came up that I had not seen in a while and I and this is just within a two-week period that I had kind of forgotten had happened but I understand that um, I have seen everything probably three times, and the stuff that I get wrong, I see it. You know, I see it the next day. So it still works pretty well for me. I'm seeing less cards. They're going. The ones I know are going away a little quicker, and I like that. So somebody else had asked me if I had modified these, and for the two-week period, this seems to work. I would not do this if I had to do it for longer like maybe uh, three or four weeks or, you know, a couple months even. Um, so I wouldn't change that if I had to go a longer period of time. But since it's such a short period, I, I think it works pretty well for me. And it's, I'm able to complete stuff in a day, which before I was getting to the end, before the exam, I wasn't able to do it all. And uh, as you can see, this right here, this is before an exam, and I still have a bunch to do today. Another thing, so if you want to, so while you're doing this and you want, the day before your exam and you want to figure out what, or you know, a couple days before you want to figure out what you're not doing so good on, you can open up the browser and then type in uh, prop for properties, colon, lapses, and I'll say greater than three. And then this will search your whole collection for wait, let me make sure I did this right lapses greater than three this is the uh, Anki documentation by the way so maybe I have none let's try greater than one okay so these are all the ones that have lapses that are greater than one so I should probably go review these cards um, but so, so you can see that you can figure out stuff that you have um, have been not been doing well on. You know, I got one card where I have missed it three times, which, well, I better go check on it. But anyways, good way to do it, good way to tell what you're not doing good on, and it's quick. And some people, there's other ways to do it by having it automatically, like, pull out your leached cards and stuff, and uh, I... I don't want to do that because I need to study everything that's possible. I don't want any leached cards being removed from the decks because I need to know everything for the exams. So I leave them all in there. One other bit of information to help you along is the 20 rules of formulating knowledge. 
by, uh, from, from uh, Super Memo by Dr. Peter Bosniak, or I don't know how you say it, something like that. Um, so he, these are amazing rules, and if you read through these, you can make yourself learn stuff way faster. I mean, I still have a problem with, and it's been a couple, it's been, I've been using this over a year, and I still have a problem with my, with uh, formulating cards. I'm using Super Memo as well, and my, my cards, my elements tend to be a little bit better because I'm using it for more long-term uh, memory. But uh, read through this, and you will feel smarter, and you'll feel like you can make better cards in Anki as well. Anyways, thank you. Good luck to you. And uh, if anybody has any ideas on modifying the um, the like the interval modifier or changing the interval modifier or anything like that, just let me know. Or if you have any questions, feel free to always send me a message or uh, ask me. I'll monitor the post. So, all right. Have a good day. Good luck studying.